let me very briefly explain what the NAD precursor world is actually about. Start over here, we got NAD, that's the molecule that we need for life, that we need, we think, for longevity and youth. How do you boost that? Well, you, you shouldn't just take NAD because NAD is a big molecule and it, cells cannot absorb it. So what you what cells need is a precursor, so it's a little smaller version. So the next thing along that you can give to the body is NR, nicotinamide riboside, which is a sugar added to vitamin B3. Then let's go to the next one, which is what I work on mostly, which is NMN, which is NR plus a phosphate. So if you give NR, you lack the phosphate, and then NMN has everything. And so one of the problems that I think as a scientist is that if you just give NR, your body has to find phosphate from somewhere. Where would it get it? It's in bones, it's in DNA. In practice, in mice, uh, and seemingly if you look at clinical trials in humans, NR is not boosting levels of NAD in the bloodstream as high as NMN does. NMN will double or triple your NAD levels if you just swallow it.